Okay, so I've just got some clear in some containers here. And I'm going to drop in just a couple of drops. One, two, three. Of um, the different liquid pigments. They're not an ink. They are a liquid pigment. So with UV, I'm using a, uh, the platinum, which is really UV resistant in the resin. The liquid tints do not fade, whereas liquid, the um, alcohol inks will fade over time. These will not fade. That's a beautiful colour. Look at that. That's the mixture of the sky blue and the um, lapis lazuli. I'm just going to add a couple more drops. Okay, and now so the next thing I'm going to do is pour that the furthest away from the beach. going to do another colour here just doing a few different blues because when you look at the sea it is not one colour is it not one so I'm just adding here an assortment of liquid tints from Lorez in the blue shades. Just mixing them up. Got a green here. very nice um, I think I need a little bit more of that dark blue so I'm just gonna add a bit more Just a bit more of the dark. Get every every drop out. And I shall add the next blue that I've got here. I'm sure what this one is called actually. I can't see the, oh, teal. This is teal. So I'm going to pour that next. I want to pour a little bit along the edge of the sand just to get that slight definition. It will all run into each other, but I just find that this works really well. The next one I'm going to pour in is the green. Oh, 
Okay. What I'm going to do now is just swirl through this. Actually, have I got enough? Let me see. Have I got enough? Maybe a little bit more of that. Um, no, not that one. The teal one. Let me see. Okay, what I do next is I come through here and just mix it to, what's that here? Yes, got it. Mix that through so we have like a gradient of colour. Just let that do its own thing. Now I'm going to use the um, blowtorch just to remove any fine bubbles there that have come to the surface. Without touching the mould. So now here's where I add some bits of exciting. I've got, I've got coral, I've got seaweeds, I've got everything in here and I'm going to just play and add some and some seashells. I'll be back. Just kind of put a few. These are white quartz I'm going to add. Also going to add here. What you've got to remember when you're doing one of these is that none of the um, the shells or anything come up to the top of the mould. Okay, so what I use is a ruler. By using a ruler, I can put that on there and I can make sure that everything I put in is under that level of the mould. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add in here. Oh, get these out. The gloves are slippery. <laughs> Is um, these brown black? They're crushed seashells. I might turn it off while I open. Just kind of put a few. These are white quartz. I'm going to add. also going to add here what you've got to remember when you're doing one of these is that none of the um, the shells or anything come up to the top of the mold okay so what I use is a ruler by using a ruler I can put that on there and I can make sure that everything I put in is under that level of the mold Okay, so the next thing I'm going to add in here. Oh, get these out. The gloves are slippery. <laughs> Is um, these brown black, they're crushed seashells. I might turn it off while I open. I managed to get it open. I 
want to put in some um, of this colour of crushed seashells. Or oh, actually, this no, this is amber agate, and I think it would be rather nice to put a little bit in without dropping it on the floor. You can see how above here I've got a lot of white. That's been caused by the air bubbles as I'm putting in all the rocks and the stones, which I'll get rid of in a moment. I'm going to take my gloves off while I get this, the coral. And just add some bits of coral. into this so I've got some coral and I, I just want to make it look really 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 like a reef got some other one here might uh, have that wrapped around this part here just immerse it down soak it up into the um, resin right, just going to get rid of I think um, Stuart is going to be mowing the lawn or the whippersnipper so be prepared <laughs> okay I'm just going to get rid of some of these bubbles as you can see that's terrific all right what else are we going to do let's see is there anything else I want to put in here I've got a little bit of black seaweed here too might sprinkle some of that around person I'm making this for for his birthday is my best friend of um, over 50 years no not quite about 40 40 odd years and um, he makes always makes this special cheese ball um, at all the parties and I was going to be taking it up with me to give him for his birthday but I'll have to post it now Hoping that's not too big and clumsy, that piece of coral. What else can I put in? I might stick a bit more of that. Wrapping around there and there. Now, although these are sticking up at the moment, I will be putting on, once I've finished, I will be putting on another layer of clear over the top to seal it. Um, the resin I'm using is FDA approved, um, non-toxic and food safe in um, platinum. Uh, but this is the ultra clear, but I'm going to use as my top coat later, I'll use the um, 360 plus ult, um, platinum type of resin to go on the very top because it won't leave like an oil slick on at the top it I can't remember the name of that what it is it's got a certain name you may have experienced that where you look at it and it looks as if it's got this little oil slick on the top well the 360 plus will prevent that oh I do love that black the black weed in there the black um, coral oh that's beautiful Maybe I shouldn't have this quite such a lump. Spread it out a bit. I'm going to see if I can find a few more shells. I found some beautiful, tiny, weeny little shells here. Um, some One of my 
one of my artist ladies that come to me, her children went and collected them for me from the beach. And I'm so, I wish I could remember their names. I'm so sorry, but I love them. Thank you. I've also got some mixed natural shell chips here in a pinkies and opal shades. I'm popping, you know, one can never have too much, can they? Just stick a few that have gone out to sea. You know how they go down the beach and sort of spread. I think that's rather nice. And now I'll place some shells. Now with the shells, you've got to make sure that they're, if they're hollow, they've got to be filled. So I'm placing them down so that the resin can fill up. Um, I should have gloves on. I apologise. The, the, my little enhancements here keep sticking to the gloves, so I'm just um, pressing them in carefully by hand. Oh, how's that looking? Rather nice. Might um, make like a whirl. You know how we get those little pools of rocks and get a little pool inside? I've got some of that medium blue here. I'm just going to pop a bit of that in the middle there. Can you see that? To create a little pool that's come around in, in when it's come in, when the seas come in to low um, high tide and then when it goes back to low tide. those in a bit pushing that back down that seaweed and coral you can see the air bubbles coming up this is the only one I'm concerned about whether it will stay or not I did make a little turtle that I'm going to immerse in amongst coming in from the sea it's a clear turtle I've done that purposely so it just sparkles underneath as it's making its way into the into the land used to live up in Bundaberg and um, loved to go to Mon Repo Beach where the turtles came in to lay their eggs and um, my lovely friend I took them there too when they were up, came up to visit me for my birthday one year so I hope this brings back nice memories for him okay I'm not sure if I need to do anything else there I think I've only all the only thing I've got to do now is um, I might put a little more clear on the sand here. Let that travel.
Yes, that's looking quite nice. Um, I've got to wait for the um, Angel White to get even thicker than it is now. It's thickening up, but I'm going to leave it another about another 15 minutes. So I'll, um, I'll come back when that's ready and show you how I do the waves. At this stage also, I've got a, a bag of mixed precious little stones that I collected and purchased on my travels, for example, little amethysts and everything. And I, um, just purely because this is very personalised, I'm actually going to place some of these in here because I, um, I know he'll notice and he'll love them. So just some precious stones. Might make that in a little clump there. See if I've got some more. Topaz in. There we are. That's that done. Still waiting for the white to heat up, so uh, I'll be back shortly. Thought I'd bring you down and show you how this is going. You can see all the different beautiful shells we've got in here. And bits of coral and seaweed. Just to add interest and whirlpools happening. Just before I do the waves, I just want to show you what this looks like. Because I'm unsure whether you can see it really well. There's the turtle coming in to lay her eggs. Okay, we'll go back up. Oh, and these are the um, handles I'm using, the seahorses, which come from my best friend's mum. They were hers. And I love seahorses. I used to have them. So they were given to me on her passing, and I just thought I would treasure them. And I'm now, I finally decided where I wanted to put them, and it was in this tray for my lovely friend Stewie. Okay, now I've got it to work. We are. I'll just let it stop wobbling. Um, so now what I'm going to do is create the waves now. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use a tiny little bit of clear which I've got left. It's just hanging in there almost. And I'm going to actually put a dribble of the white of the clear where I want to put the waves. Although it's really starting to thick it up now. I've left the um, angel white as long as I possibly can. Put some more waves here. Some around the front here. Just a little, little at the front. You see what this clear does? It actually makes the colour I'm putting it on top of a little bit more translucent. I'm going to put a around here like this. Some waves coming around the turtle. Heat it up. Oops, don't set fire to the coral, <laughs> not the, co <laughs> the coral and the seaweed. <laughs> and now I'm going to use my white satin. It's a 
good consistency. I probably would have loved it a little bit thicker, but I can't wait any longer. Um, it's like a thick cream. So I'm just going to try and get it so that it's running thin. Okay, and we start from off the edge and move in quickly. Over the C, around the turtle here. And just a bit around the beach here. That little line in on the middle section. Well, it's good, it's sitting on the top, which is what I wanted, but I didn't want it to sink down to through to the back. Okay, we'll see how that goes. I'm now gonna. Use either a heat gun or my little mini blower. We'll see how it goes. I've got to heat it up one more time. Works better if it's warmer. As I say, without setting fire to the seaweed. Okay, so let's give this a go. And then we're going to blow on an angle towards it. I don't know if I've got them thick enough yet. We'll see. Oh, that's looking quite nice. What do you think of that? That's looking quite good, isn't it? I'm wondering if I need to put more waves in or not. I'm, I'm wondering whether to put just a tiny one in there. I'm really, I will, because I never know when to stop. That's the trouble. Just a little one in here. Oh, and I dropped a little. But I'm sure that won't matter. Okay, just here, I was blowing it backwards so it could go around the little rock pools. Yes, just got a bit there on the edge I've got to attend to. And then I will be... Okay, well that's looking quite beautiful, I must admit. I'm really happy with that. Um, oh, hang on, I think I need a little bit more around that turtle, don't I? Because he's creating a splash there as he's coming in.
Okay. Well, that's that finished until the next coat. I'll bring you down. Now you can see what I've done with the waves. Never know quite what's going to happen with that, but we'll see what happens. I'm pleased with it. Thrilled to bits with it. So we'll leave it at that and then I'm going to be putting a top coat on, as I said later, when this is almost cured. I hope you enjoyed this. I've got one more stage to do before I let it cure at this stage and that's putting the handles in. I've almost forgotten. Okay, so you can see in here that's where the, the screw would go on the underneath. So um, as I push it into the resin, it will fill with resin. And that's what I want. So it's just working out where I'd like these handles. And I think one can go there. And another one can go there. I've got them facing each other. And just as a safety precaution while they're setting, I just pop a stick underneath and weigh it down at this end so it won't fall in. If it's going to fall, it will fall out. They're like that. Okay, I'll see you later. Here yeah, with the popsicle sticks that are weighted down, supporting the seahorses. <laughs> We'll see how this turns out later. Okay, I'm back. It's night time here. Um, I'm now going to do my top coat on top of my um, seahorse tray. And I'm using a different resin. As I said, I was going to. I'm using Platinum <coughs> 360 Plus. It's a surfboard epoxy. It's FDA approved here in Australia. And it's non-toxic and it's food safe um, I'm just putting this on so I don't get any marks and also to cover over the um, the shells and the turtle etc make it um, a bit higher I'm not sure if I've mixed up quite enough yet I might have to mix up more than this so um, this um, this resin is um, states that it's the it's the clearest resin in the world so i just love it it's beautiful i love platinum um, and it's also got a really high uv um, protected in it okay so we'll just let that sit for a little bit and i'll be back and pour pour this in now i'm hoping i've got enough as i said if not i'll have just make up more Make sure I get it round the back as well of the, um... no, I haven't made up enough. So I just have to make up a bit more. I needed a, another third. <coughs> so I will be back. Okay, second batch coming up. warm it up so it can run a bit better the air bubbles out Seriously, I need more. I need more. 
<laughs> okay, tiny third batch coming up. This is a white to press the button on my laptop because I'm getting sticky fingers everywhere. Okay, third time lucky. some more around the seahorse handles tiny little divots there I've got to fill up bend down and make sure it's all covered up beautifully yes it is I think we're right here now. That looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Can you see my turtle? <laughs> oh yes, that's that's settling nicely. Just hope I've got it over every rock. It looks that way. It's looking good. We'll let it cure and I'll see you in the morning. Thank you very much for sharing your day. Good morning. Here we are. Ready to demold my beautiful tray. It's gorgeous. Um, one thing I didn't realise is that because it's such a deep tray that I've made, thick, it's not much room to put my fingers underneath the the handles, but I don't think that'll mind. We can always pick them up like that. I just want to turn it round and show you before I take the mould off. Here's the beach. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? 
Anyway, let me take that. I have loosened it. I haven't taken it off, but I have loosened it ready for the unveiling. Let's do this. Maggie. And here it is. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? I'm really happy with it. And there's the back. I'll turn the back over. Oh, the back worked beautifully. Oh, look at that. That's probably the best I've done with the waves and everything. And it looks marvellous. You can see all the special things I've added in there. You can see the turtle. Look at the turtle in there. All the special jewels I've added. Oh, I'm thrilled to bits with it. Absolutely thrilled to bits with it. Love it so much. You can see my turtle. Look, there it is. That's on the front. Well, I hope you've enjoyed watching my tutorial on how to create a lovely beach scape design on a tray or a, whatever you're doing it on. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. I'll take some photographs and um, I'll be uploading this on YouTube. Thank you for watching. Have a lovely day.